All right, when you log in as a mentor, uh, you'll see that there's uh, some reports right here. They say configurable reports. These are reports that I had built for you guys to use. Uh, the top one right here, completion and grade. I combined two together now. So all the kids right here are listed. Um, you see right now it's only listing 10 of them. You can drop it down list 100 if you want. Most likely you're going to be looking for a certain kid. Let's say you're looking for Oscar Gomez. Well, it looks like he's in two courses. He finished one right here on the 2nd of October. He got a 70% uh, minimal passing grade on it. In English 2B, he goes to Rosemead High School. Here's his ID number. Here's his first and last name. Um, and right now he's in another class. He has not completed. You can see there's no date here, so he's not completed this one. Most of the kids in our system have not completed, so they'll be blank here. And he currently has a 36 in it, and this is gradually going to go up and up. All students start with a 0%. All right, so this one, he got a 70%, and this was his uh, the date of completion for this course, and he's in this one now. So, and this worked pretty fast. You can type in any uh, any kid's name. You can see John here, and we got uh, two Johnnies. He finished one. Uh, he's on another class, and then there's Jonathan Lamelli at Alwani High School. He's in Biology B, and he's got a 1% in the class so far. Probably just did one, uh, one lesson or something already. So um, that's how that works, okay? So let's look at the uh, another report for you guys. Uh, the next one down is enrolled more than four weeks. Uh, this particular course just shows all the kids that have been enrolled for more than four weeks. It's not uh, very useful. I think it's going to be used more for administrative purposes. Last login, this could be useful for you. Uh, this one right here, it tells the students last login. So you look for, let's say, that kid, uh, Jonathan. He only has 1%. When was the last time this Jonathan kid, right here, Jonathan Lamelli, uh, when was the last time he went on? And he's last been on 10, 13, 14. So on the 13th, that was today, and he was on at 10 07 in the morning. Um, Elmani High School. I don't know, maybe he had a break or something. That's about the time of SSR, so I'm not sure what he was doing on at that time. But that's uh, his information. This particular one also has phone numbers so that you can contact the kid right away from the screen. So you see uh, Jonathan Lamelli, and you want to call him because it's been so long that he's been on. Um, well, you can call him right away. Even more useful than this probably for that particular reason is this one here, not logged in for seven plus days. This is only a list, and you can see it's only 68 students long. There are 68 students out of about 300 that have not logged in within the last seven days, or never. So right here you see the last login. Uh, th these are the amount of days it's been since they last logged in. If it says never, then they've never logged in. Um, so we've enrolled them. Here's their ID number. Here's their phone number if you want to call and find out why they haven't logged in for 13 days. Here's their ID number, school name, everything you need. All right, so that's probably gonna be one of the big useful tools for uh, the mentors in the concurrent program. Um, student count per course, that's more administrative purposes, along with list of users by course, uh, not very useful. Um, time, if you want to see how much time a student has spent online, um, for example, Jonathan Lomelli, probably not very much time at all, he's only 1% done with the class. He's only spent 1.75 hours online total. Um, and if we look at another kid, the Oscar kid, he finished that one class, I think. He's finished two classes and he's at 42 and a half hours. Well, he didn't finish two classes, actually, I remember, right? He finished one course and he's uh, about, you know, a third of the way done with another one and it's taken him 42 and a half hours so far. So that's his hours online, total time on t online. Um, and also, um, the next thing I want to show you, and the last thing, is the messaging system. Um, if there's a kid you want to message on here, um, so let's say you're in a class here, and you're looking at grades maybe, um, you can always, uh, you can pull up grades right here. Well, these are actually for individual kids here, sorry. So if you want to look up a user report, so if I want to see a specific kid, I want to see how, let's say, Jose Chavez is doing. I click here. He's done nothing actually, so that wouldn't be a very good example. Carlos Arcos. I bring him up. He's done with, I don't know, about halfway done with the course. Here's the grade on all his assignments. He's got a 34% in the class so far. It always assumes he has zeros on everything else. That's, what it, that's how it aggregates the grades. And so you can just flip through the list of kids that are in this particular class. 
And what I wanted to show you was how to message a kid if you want to message a kid on the site. Um, so you go to um, my profile right here and go to messages. And if you're wondering why you can't see a message, all you have to go to recent conversations, okay? If you go to recent conversations, that will then pop up a list of all the conversations. So a lot of people come here and they're like, well, I don't see the message from the kid. You have to go to recent conversations, okay? Um, you can search for a kid. Let's go with that kid Oscar again and just push enter. And it has uh, Oscar Gomez, Os Oscar Lopez. Uh, one's a mentor, actually, and the other one's a student. And I click here. And you just type in the message to the kid. Um, get to work. And you push send, and it will send that message to the kid. If he's online or when he gets online, a little pop-up notification will happen here on the bottom right. And it'll uh, message the kid right away. And it, he also has a block that shows him where his messages are as well. All right, so if you have any questions, email me, um, Steve Swanson. Uh, S, it's S. Swanson at the school district email. Okay, thank you.